I'm sure you've heard of ghost stories where someone went to a seance or used a Ouija board or something that they unleashed a spirit or some dark entity and then they don't know what to do. And those stories always have a hint of truth tied to them. Well, Spain is no exception. I'm going to tell you a story just like this that's happened in Madrid. Hello YouTube, welcome to Kai's Foreign Adventures Halloween Edition and in today's video I want to talk about a story based on true events that happened in Vallecas, Madrid in 1991, I believe in July. There was a young girl, 18 years old, her name was Estefania Gutierrez Lázaro and there are a lot of um, how can I say? A lot of versions to this story. But basically, what happened was she was going to school and one of her friends lost her boyfriend. Her boyfriend had died um, six months prior to the story taking place. So one of them had an idea about using a Ouija board to contact him. So they decided to all get together, all girls, and they used the Ouija board at the school. And as they were using the Ouija board, they had um, the little thing, the, the planchet. It was made out of glass. I think they used a glass cup. And when they were using it, one of the faculty members entered the room, took the Ouija board, and there were reports saying that the glass filled with smoke and it broke, it just busted and the smoke went inside of Estefania. And after that, there had been strange reports going around saying that her behavior was a little bit different and she was talking about, she was seeing people in her house, she would see shadows and she would say things were moving and she didn't know what to do. And her parents really didn't understand what was going on. They were saying she was hallucinating. She would start to have seizures and convulsions. Um, she had, they diagnosed her with epilepsy. They gave her medication, it didn't work. They say she would start speaking in languages that she did not know. And her brothers and sisters, I believe she had eight brothers and sisters and she was the third one, um, the third oldest, sorry. And they said her behavior was just really bizarre. And in the house, weird things started happening, um, furniture being moved, and she was saying that there was a demon talking to her, telling her to do things, and all this occurred after the Ouija board incident. So one night, they had to call the police um, in the ambulance because she was convulsing, and when help arrived, she died. They examined her body. They could not figure out exactly what killed her. So this was unknown. They don't know what happened. So everyone thought, okay, it's done. There's no more activity going on. But a year later, November 1992, the family still living in the same apartment started to experience all sorts of strange phenomena. Um, things moving around, shadows moving. There was a report of um, two of her children, two of the children screaming because they saw a shadow in their house throwing furniture and throwing toys. And when the parents came to check, the shadow wasn't there, but the toys and furniture were all over the place. So they hired um, paranormal investigators, they hired all sorts of people to come and take a look at the house. They called um, the national police to come and inspect. One of the police officers did make a report and say that he saw paranormal activity. He saw, um, I believe it was something catching on fire when it shouldn't have in the house, a piece of furniture. And he put this in his report documented everything 
This had went on for a while and it had gained national attention. Um, of course, there were people trying to take advantage of the situation, um, saying, oh yeah, I'm a paranormal um, exorcist or whatever, I can help you, I can get rid of it. Um, and then they were fake. But there were things in the house, weird slime coming through the dining room, uh, furniture, through tablecloths. There would be um, cracks in the windows, overnight and this wasn't just you know one occurrence here and there this was almost every single day and there were reports saying that um, Estefania was trying to reach them they can hear her voice at night so people didn't know if this was the whole family was hallucinating if there was something that they ate if there was you know that caused this they have no idea but when another family moved into this place years later, after they moved out, they reported the same activity. Furniture moving around, stuff catching on fire. They don't know what was going on. They would see handprints in the house on the walls that were not their handprints. They have no idea. So this did gain national attention and it also inspired a movie. Um, last year, I believe it came out, it was called Veronica, and they changed the name to Veronica. She was the protagonist of the movie, and they changed a little bit of elements in the movie. Um, instead, of her, instead of her trying to contact her friend's boyfriend, she contacted her deceased father in the movie. And pretty much in the movie, well, I don't want to give it all away in case you want to see it, but um, in the movie, after she did this, there was a lot of demonic activity. She would wake up with marks on her body. Her siblings would have marks on her body, uh, on their body. Um, she didn't tell her, her mother. She didn't know what to do. She tried to get help about this. Um, and there was some spirit possession going on in the movie. I watched this with uh, one of my friends. He wanted to see it. And he was so scared. He told me, you know, I shouldn't have suggested this movie I thought it was creepy I wasn't like really really scared but I thought it was creepy um, so if you are interested you can watch it it is only in Spanish the movie has played in other countries uh, and has become very popular um, I think they have it in English subtitles I don't know because I only saw it in Spanish um, but it was a very interesting movie but if you are afraid of poltergeist or demons or um, spirit possession you might not want to see this movie but if you like that sort of stuff if that sort of stuff scares you you get a thrill out of it you would enjoy it a lot well that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed it feel free to do some research I'll leave some information about um, this story in the description box if you have any suggestions, comments, feel free to subscribe, feel free to leave comments, suggestions below. I will definitely read them and I will definitely reply. And until next time, hasta luego.